We're in Chicago with four of the greatest disc jockeys in the country. I don't like them exposed to it. They're 11, 10, 12 years old, and I don't like what they're hearing. I think parents are now into attacking disc jockeys more than they are into attacking music. I don't think there's any reason we have to apologize for today's music. Howard, I and Larry would like to apologize for today's music. <laughs> We're sorry, Uncle Phil. <laughs> I think we all have a responsibility, and I think we're letting the whole nation down. We hope you'll join us. And I don't like what they're hearing. I, I, uh, I feel the same way. I think the world is going to hell, and these four <laughs> men are leading it. There. All right, here, guess who's here? Guess who's here? You're laughing. These guys make big bucks. I agree. I always wanted to do this. <laughs> it's real. It's real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. They're, they're, uh, you're, you're arguing, you've got a woman over there saying that we're, the lyrics are more promiscuous, they're lewd, and you're blaming four disc jockeys here and the bunch of us. Yeah, here. right. You go to a movie today, you're seeing just as bad or much worse than you hear on record. I think all of us are professional and concerned enough to know that we aren't doing anything worse than anybody else in the entertainment industry. Go to Hollywood, go to Broadway, listen to radio, listen to television, and you will find out that it is getting more promiscuous. We would worry as much about getting our country in shape and know what we're doing. How many times have you this written to your congressman about this situation? Yeah. Yeah. All right, hang on just a moment. How many are proud yeah. to be in America? I am. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We're going on now. These are four of the biggies, four of the biggest uh, disc jockeys in the country. Larry, keep it down just a little bit. We're trying to do a show. Larry's going to talk. Yeah. We all grew up to be like me. Decent human beings just like me. So what the hell are we worried about here? That's... And if any song we play is going to destroy the moral fiber of your children, then you failed as parents, and it's not our job.